He was eight pounds and 10 ounces when he was born. Very loving. He would give you the shirt off his back. Cause um, I remember like right before this incident happened to him, um, he had came into some money from his trading stocks and he went to Petersburg and you know where the homeless people hang out over there. He went over there and he said he bought them food and cigarettes and waters and drinks and stuff like that. You know, we all had a good time together. You know, but he didn't get a chance to um, live his life yet. We have his, his, first, his first kids and my first grandkids and he's my only son. And I'm one and only. Jameer Leonard reported missing July 25th. His body wasn't located until seven days later, July 31st, in the Meharan River. Jameer and his family are originally from the New Jersey area. They moved to Emporia in 2002, so he had been here a while and had quite a few friends. He went out one night and he came back the next morning and he was sweating so bad. He wasn't wearing a shirt and that was unusual for him. And he was saying that um, he's sorry for all the things that he had done and put us through and that he loved us. And like about 20 minutes or so later, he just started like talking out of his head, saying that um, some people was looking for him. He started closing the blinds up in the house. He was taking our phones, going through our phones. And we was like, what are you doing? And he was like, them people, they looking for me. They looking for me. And I'm like, what people? Jameer's case is a very complicated one, so let me explain a few things for you. Leading up to Jameer's disappearance, he was taken three times in two days to a hospital for an evaluation. Uh, the very last time they took him in, it was recommended by doctors that he stay there and they legally hold Jameer and transfer him to Poplar Springs, which is a psychiatric hospital. The District 19 um, service provider told us that he found a bed for him that he was going to a facility, Papa Springs, Papa Springs yes. and that didn't happen. The order was denied by a magistrate and Jameer was inevitably discharged. Well, according to these documents, it showed the magistrate denied the order because he believed it was drug induced and Jameer didn't need any restraints. So the Greensville County Sheriff's Department picked him up, took him to a friend's apartment on Meharan River Lane. Now you may ask yourself, why would he go there instead of going home? Well, Jameer was 21, so he'd go wherever he wanted to go. If it wasn't for me, I don't think he would have never been found because I'm the one that called them me and too. told them that I had went over to where his phone was pinging and I just got like this real bad feeling in my stomach. And I said, um, I just think y'all need to search the river. My fear is that somebody did this to him. They took his organs and sold him. He was a very young, vibrant young man with just nothing but life. And somebody took advantage of him and they saw that was he was not in his right state of mind. And I almost feel like to the point of he was set up. After talking to the chief of police, Rick Pingsaw, uh, he confirmed several witness reports of people seeing Jameer uh, waving at cars along the roadway as he was walking past the uh, rescue squad building down there in the city of Emporia. Well, based upon the autopsy report and the animal predation, um, his heart was absent. Um, a portion of the, the, of the aorta um, his lungs were absent, lymph nodes were absent, uh, the liver was absent, gallbladder, spleen, pancreas. Who could be so cruel to do this to somebody and just throw him in the river like he's nothing? His kidneys were uh, absent due to animal predation. Um, and then his, uh, he, his penis was missing as well as one, one testicle. He also had a scar in the back of his head and he never had a scar in the back of his head before. This is shocking, but it's actually kind of expected when uh, a body uh, is in the wild for 
a length of time. It really doesn't take that long for scavengers, no other word for it, eat the body. When you're doing a transplant, for example, um, if you're gonna take an organ, like a heart or um, lungs, a lot of times those organs are only viable, they're only gonna be good for transplant within a few hours. And you've gotta have dedicated transport ready, you've gotta have the patient who's going to accept the organ ready in the operating room, basically already ready for that to happen. But we're talking about a case that we don't even know if it's a criminal investigation or if it's just a death investigation. The most bizarre part about this case is probably the the animal predation and Jameer being in the river for those, we don't know how many days. You know, Jameer's body was here, locked up in, a, in, in, in a debris, and it could have been underwater. But if you look at pictures of the way that his clothes and his belongings were found, it's almost like someone went in the woods and put them there. And that's what's strange about this case. This case has a lot of strange parts. It's almost like these um, animal predators knew exactly what organs to pluck from inside his body, which is a little bit strange. The part for me is, is the closure for the family. We really want to provide closure for the family, but we're at this point where this case is inactive and it's really going to, it's falling into a cold case is what it's doing. Like if somebody knows something, if somebody hear, heard something, then we would really hope that they could, again, reach out to us to give us more information. I, I vividly remember uh, taking the parents to the spot where Jameer's body was located. At least we saw it from the uh, embankment. Uh, when you walk back there, there's not a whole lot back there except an abandoned building and a dam. And they showed us approximately where his body was found. And it's just sad. Basically, it just rips our hearts out, basically. Every time I look at his death certificate and I look at the cause of death, unknown, I just, I can't live with that. I can't live with that.